Okay, so this is Mamba. Um, he's got a handful of rides now. I think this will be ride number five. I know we promised, promised you guys his first ride, but Lindsay was gone last week, so that was when we ended up riding him. But anyways, he ride number five. Today's Monday, so just gonna go through the whole process, I guess. This colt's been really gentle, wants to be good, and pretty easy, but probably be a little fresh this morning, had the weekend off. Try to step him off slow. He's being pretty, pretty sensible, not acting a fool. Paying attention, oh, very good. Like I said, he's got, this will be his fifth ride, so we're shortening and simplifying the process up a little bit. Not spending as much time in a few of those different areas. And at this point, especially if we're going to lose him, we're going to go ahead and throw the saddle over. We're not really going to try to protect him from anything. Like I said, he's pretty gentle, pretty level-headed. He wants to please. He hasn't done any, hadn't had any funny business with him. He's been pretty much perfect gentleman. <clears throat> he might hog around a little bit right here after I sent him off with this saddle on because he had the weekend off, but he's not really a, not a bucker or anything. He just wants to please. Trying to let him go off as slow as he wants to go. I don't, wanna, don't really want to get his mind going fast. That right there is perfect. I like to let him ease into it and then, then I'll push him around and make him go as fast as I want to. I'm gonna get on to him or anything. Like I said, he's had the weekend off. He's only had a couple rides, so. Oh. I'm just looking for him to chill out and relax a little bit more before we move on. Whoa. I didn't ask him to go the other way. So. Better. Better. Whoa. There he is. Yeah, but, but I think um, I think it helps eliminate a lot of problems from the beginning or not um, they never really get started right so a horse that wants to walk around you and walk off and all sorts of stuff 
you know they take some a day or two but use these hobbles and it eliminates the start of a lot of those problems right because because they figure out that they can't go anywhere and then you know a couple two weeks into the deal you can just start just tying them up and saddling them and they're used to being still you know when you're saddling them and stuff so they never really learn to walk around move around walk all over you those kind of things i think it makes the process safer overall depending on the horse it can be a bit of a challenge to get them on their feet the first time or two but if you once you get that get around that it's usually pretty good pretty good experience so a little decent tires and you know this colt's he said he's been really good he's to be his fifth ride we're very steadily going to move past all of this slapping around and stuff in the process but step up on both sides cut all over him I keep him in a hike more for a couple more rides before we go to the <clears throat> before we go to a snaffle. He's been pretty good in it so far. So. Take these hobbles off, Move his hips around both ways. So I'm just gonna take this stirrup, get his nose, bump him around with the stirrup. So that when I get on him, if he locks down on me, I kinda got a, it's almost like a safety switch. You know, I'd pull him around, pull him around, bump them with that leg and they that's something that they they know you know they're comfortable here doing this so you know if one wants to get a little squirrely a little a little humpy it uh, doesn't always translate but it works works really well so since I just pulled his head to me and kicked his hips around I'm gonna go back back hobble him just to make sure that when I step on him, he's not going to try to try to walk around. That's part of that eliminating that problem before it ever even starts, right? Perfect. Okay, Wyatt, you come in here, please. We use the horse first first three rides. I think um, helps send him around like we do on all the other ones, but. Moving past that step for him and just gonna have White get in here and have the flag just in case. If I need a little help, he can help me and... Huh? No, I'll get on him, yeah. Yeah, give me just a second. So, like you just seen me do with the stirrup, I'm pulling, pull his nose one way, give him a little bump with my leg, bump his nose, 
uh, you guys may or may not have seen it, but you know, like I taught him right, we've taught him right there on the ground, like he's saw me do with the stirrup, we've taught him to do the same thing on a horseback. So the first couple rides, um, when you get on them, if they're locked down or something like that, you can step to them with that horse and they know to move, disengage their hindquarters and move and just get some, get some move of their feet and get some soft. So we're not using the horse anymore, but he's taking the place just, you know, just in case if I, if he just does decide to stand there and kind of lock down on me, well, he's going to respect Wyatt and Wyatt's going to be able to move his, move his feet for me. So I don't have to kick on him or, you know, get in a big wrestling match and him. I don't want him to associate associate that with me. I want him to associate that with with Wyatt or the horse. So see right there, you know, this is his fifth ride, so he's figuring stuff out, getting an idea of what we want him to do. So, you know, normally on a horse we'd be be right here pushing his pushing his hips. See like, see like right there, Wyatt gives him a little bit of just a little bit of flag. That's perfect. That's good. Go slow, let him think about it. Now we'll go. We'll just let him. Yeah, he's good. I want it to be slow, nice and easy. Don't want him to get revved up about anything. There's no need in it. So, like right there, I'll bump him a little bit, and Wyatt's gonna give him a little pressure, just kind of keep him going. He walked around a little bit, let him trot out. So I'm not gonna use much, much leg right here, but we're kind of introducing it to him. So just gonna see me bump him a little bit with my, bumping him a little bit with my spurs. I'm mainly just gonna smooch to him and let Wyatt kind of send him around. I just wanted him to go around there pretty freely for for a turn or for a full circle or two. Then I sit down and quit riding and Wyatt's gonna Wyatt will step in front of him like he did right there. Same thing we do on the horse. But that encourages them. They learn real quick that whenever I sit down, he's gonna step in front of him for him to come back to me. And then it doesn't take very long when you sit down and quit riding, they want to stop and come back to you. And the reason I was popping with my lead rope is because, like I said, we're just introducing my feet and my legs to him, so I don't want to, I don't want to get in a kicking match with him and get him sour about my, about my feet, so I'd rather use that that to pop him on the butt to make him go instead of getting him resenting my feet. I'm not trying to get him to go fast, just trying to get him to travel nice and easy free. him a little bit with my spur kind of kind of trying to tell him that whenever I bump with that spur that lead rope's gonna come and he's gonna figure out for long 
And if I bump him with that spur, that means go. Just gonna send him around a little bit on my own, pull him around a little bit. Sure he's being pretty numb over there, so I'm not gonna get on to him, but I'm gonna let him know hey, that means to do something, that means to go a little bit. So, yeah, and when I stop him, go the other way, I like to pull him around, make sure they're listening. Just helps me get their feet moving. This aids, you know, whenever I get in here by myself, a couple of rides from now, you know, I've got control of him, right? I don't have to rely on, don't have to rely on Wyatt. And we're past the stage of him being, you know, like right there, you can tell he doesn't really, doesn't really love my foot, doesn't really want to go. So I'm just going to keep after him and hopefully in a couple days, he's, you know, he's understanding that stuff and he's past just being you know, kind of sticky to it and a little upset to it. See, he wanted to turn in there. Kind of gave me the finger a little bit, so I'm gonna pull him back around that other way. Pretty free, pretty easy. Then come to the middle. Use my feet a little bit. Good. Very good. Try to back him up a little bit. Try to gotta be real, real clear with that signal. Good enough for me. Lead him down there and pull that saddle off down there. Thank you. 